Are you wanting to relocate here to San Diego, but not sure if you can afford this neighborhood? Well, that's okay, most people can't. But in this video, I'm gonna take you through San Diego's best neighborhoods on a budget. And we're starting right now. Hey everybody, David Calvin with eXp Realty here in sunny San Diego, California. Today, guys, we're gonna uncover the five affordable neighborhoods here in San Diego. Now, just to be clear, finding the best while the most affordable neighborhoods in San Diego is subjective because it really just depends on personal preferences. However, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the five neighborhoods that are a good balance of affordability, and accessibility to major freeways and San Diego and other amenities. So by all means, this is not a comprehensive affordability list here in San Diego, but these are five good neighborhoods to consider if you have a somewhat of a limited budget. So the first neighborhood we're gonna talk about is Claremont here in San Diego. So Claremont's located north of downtown San Diego, which offers a mix of affordable housing options, including single family houses, uh, townhouses and apartments. It has a suburban feel and the location and accessibility are some of the best things about it. So it's centrally located and provides easy access to other parts of the city, including downtown San Diego, the beaches, and the major freeways. The neighborhood is home to several shopping centers, grocery stores, restaurants, and entertainment venues. So there's Mission Bay Park, which is a large waterfront park that is nearby and offers opportunities for outdoor activities, including biking, jogging, and water sports. Now, Claremont is operated by the San Diego Unified School District, which of course serves many different uh, public and private schools in San Diego. Now, another good thing about Claremont is the public transit system that is easily accessible. So if you rely on the bus system or even like uh, the commuter rail or things like that, Claremont's gonna be a good place for you. And Claremont is a diverse neighborhood, so it attracts both young families, young professionals, but it also has a fair amount of uh, longtime residents. The next neighborhood we're gonna talk about is North Park. So North Park is situated just north of Balboa Park. It's considered a trendy neighborhood known for its vibrant dining and entertainment scene. So it's become increasingly popular in recent years and of course, a little bit more expensive, but it still offers a relatively affordable housing option. North Park offers a mix of housing options, including craftsman style homes, Spanish bungalow homes, and as well as apartments and condominiums. So the architectural styles in the area are diverse, ranging from historic properties to more modern developments. So North Park is known for its diverse community, attracting residents of various backgrounds and lifestyles. The neighborhood has a strong sense of community and a welcoming atmosphere. So it definitely appeals to a mix of young professionals, artists, as well as families. So while North Park is considered an urban neighborhood, there is still some green space. There's Bird Park and Morley Field located in neighboring Balboa Park, which provides opportunities for outdoor activities, picnics, and sports. The area also features dedicated bike lanes and pedestrian-friendly streets. North Park is a well-regarded for its nightlife and entertainment options as well. So I don't know if that's important to you, but if it is, North Park's a good spot for you. So the neighborhood has a wide array of bars, breweries, live music venues, and theaters, offering a diverse range of experiences for those seeking entertainment after dark. The third city we're gonna talk about is Normal Heights. So Normal Heights is another neighborhood that offers a good balance of affordability and livability. Normal Heights is located in central San Diego and bordered by North Park to the west and Kensington to the east. If you're curious about Kensington, I have done a video of it here, so be sure to watch that. Normal Heights offers convenient access to major freeways, including the 805, the 15, uh, while making it easy to commute to other parts of the city. Downtown San Diego and Bilbo Park are also within a short drive. Normal Heights has a laid back and eclectic atmosphere. It is known for its diverse community, artist influences, and a strong sense of community engagement. The neighborhood is often described as quirky with a mix of charming craftsman style homes, bungalows, and apartment complexes. One of the best areas in Normal Heights is Adams Avenue, which actually stretches from Normal Heights all the way into Kensington. So Adams Avenue is the main commercial street that runs through Normal Heights. It's lined with an array of local businesses, including restaurants, there's coffee shops, boutiques, there's vintage shops. 
The annual Adams Avenue Street Fair is also a popular event that showcases local artists, musicians, and vendors. The city of Normal Heights is also super walkable. So if you do not have a vehicle, or maybe you just have an electric bike or a pedal bike, uh, Normal Heights might be a good place for you. So Normal Heights is close to several parks and outdoor spaces. There's Ward Canyon Park located just north of the neighborhood, which offers uh, open green spaces, picnic areas, and walking trails. And then of course there's nearby Kensington, which provides additional recreational options. Another cool thing about Normal Heights is that it offers several community events throughout the year. These include art walks, live music performances, neighborhood cleanup days, and cultural festivals. These events provide opportunities to engage with the neighbors and strengthen the sense of community. So number four is Tierra Santa. So Tierra Santa is located in northeastern San Diego, bordered by Mission Trails Regional Park to the east. It's a suburban neighborhood that offers a tranquil setting while still providing convenient access to major freeways, including the 15 and the 52. Also, the good thing about this neighborhood is that downtown San Diego and really popular beaches are all within a relatively short driving distance. So the neighborhood is characterized by quiet streets, well-maintained parks, and a sense of community. It attracts residents looking for a peaceful residential area with, with a suburban feel. So Tierra Santa primarily consists of single-family homes, townhomes, and condominiums. The housing styles in the neighborhood range from traditional to more modern designs. There are also some apartment complexes available, so if you're looking at renting, this might be a good place for you. Tierra Santa is adjacent to Mission Trails Regional Park, which is one of the largest urban trails in the United States. The park offers a variety of outdoor activities, including hiking trails, mountain biking, bird watching, if you're into that. Now, San Diego Unified School District serves this community, providing access to public schools in the area. The neighborhood has several highly rated public schools, making it appealing to families with school-aged children. There are also some nearby private school options available, if that is a route you want to consider. Tierra Santa also has a range of shopping centers nearby. The community has its own town center, the Tierra Santa Town Center, which includes grocery stores, restaurants, shops, and other services. Additionally, shopping centers, including nearby Mission Valley Mall, provide further retail options. And the last neighborhood we're gonna talk about is Sierra Mesa. So Sierra Mesa is located in central San Diego, bordered by Mission Valley to the south and Kearney Mesa to the north. It offers convenient access to major freeways, including the 805, the 163, and the 15. The neighborhood is centrally situated, making it relatively easy to commute to other parts of the city. Sierra Mesa features a mix of housing options, including single family homes, townhomes, and apartments. Now the neighborhood does have a range of architectural styles from mid-century homes to more contemporary designs, but mid-century modern is really gonna be the most common type of property that you will find in Sierra Mesa. A lot of these homes are gonna be built between the 1950s and the 1960s. The neighborhood is close to shopping centers, grocery stores, and restaurants providing convenience for residents. Additionally, nearby Mission Valley and Kearney Mesa offer a wide variety of shopping, dining, and entertainment options. Sierra Mesa offers access to outdoor recreational areas. The neighborhood is near Murray Ridge Park, which features open spaces, playgrounds, and sports fields. It is also close to proximity to the Mission Trails Regional Park, as I've mentioned many times in this video, where residents can enjoy hiking, biking, and nature exploration. While these neighborhoods offer generally more affordable housing options, it is important to note that San Diego's cost of living is relatively high compared to many other cities, especially in the US. Prices can still vary within each neighborhood based on factors such as property size, location, and condition. So if you're curious about other neighborhoods here in San Diego, watch some of these videos above where I've done tons of neighborhood tours to figure out what part of San Diego is the best place for you. And if you are considering a move here to San Diego, I'd love to be the resource of choice for you, the real synergy of choice for you. All my contact information is in the description box below. So as always, thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next video.